Hello and welcome to my channel Greenline Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 26th of July 2022. And yeah, this happens to be my mum's birthday. So happy birthday to my mum, beautiful Leo. And yeah, the image I was getting was this sense of debris coming at you. It, it feels like, yeah, debris is just the word that I was getting. It felt like Yeah, coming from the element of air, a lot of debris coming through. So uh, the energy around at the moment is so volatile with these like huge triple conjunction that's coming up. The new moon is coming up on the 29th and the energy is just going to get more and more intense and the pressure cooker. up. And I'm just getting that there's all these light codes hitting the the earth at this moment. They're, they're coming to the core of the earth, which is actually creating all these changes in the earth, which is why we're seeing seismic activity, we're seeing heat waves, we're seeing fires, we're seeing all sorts of things happening here, like unprecedented weather events or just extreme weather events because, you know, we have always had those sort of things, I guess. But, yeah, it's all kind of feels it's very intense at this moment in time. And so, again, I'm like, oh, so we have to have to breathe coming at us now. And it's just like a lot's being thrown at us, quite literally. Um, and that, that's what I was getting. A lot is being thrown at us. And so it just is about riding the storm with over the next couple of weeks. It's just building and building and building this energy. And it is a huge activation. It is a huge change. It's an activation of the earth. It's an activation of us to step into the new, this new energy, this new consciousness that's coming through. So, and I feel like we're all getting a huge energetic upgrade, both the earth and us. And when the, these very high vibrational energies hit, it can cause chaos because the lower vibrations get dis dislodged and disrupted. And so it can feel a little bit like that. And so chaos can rule for a little while. The hanged man before order gets restored again. Uh, the Four of Swords, both of these are having big thinks about some things, okay, putting, um, just taking some time out to think at this moment in time because there's something that is coming, it, you're getting this huge message that something just is not fulfilling you, something is not right at this moment in time. The Empress energy and it's like you're wanting to walk towards something that does feel really good, does feel really abundant, does come with this Ace of Cups, does fill you fill your cup with love and joy and pleasure and so the nine of swords it's like just so much going on inside of your mind so much debris like because it's the element of air mental clutter mental de debris these are thoughts going around and around your mind at this moment in time this can be stress this can be worry this can be waking up in the middle of the night it can be uh, fear of something happening when it might not necessarily happen because it's just this sense that there, there's this pressure cooker energy of something needs to shift and change or something will shift and change in your life. So this can be the Nine of Swords energy and it's going to keep whirling and whirling around your head, which is why it's saying take some time out to think with the Four of Swords and really be aware of the thoughts that are going through, the narratives that are going through your mind at this moment in time because the Four of Swords can sort of unravel it, unpick it. The Hanged Man is seeing something from a very different point of view, even putting something on hold for the moment, suspending something and then uh, seeing it from a very different point and getting like the enlightenment. So both of these are very different ways to get a, gain a different perspective, even a mindset shift or to gain some kind of knowledge about where, so, where it's going to get the messages that you need to get at this moment in time because there's the debris around. So there is some very, these, this is the energy of an enlightenment or awakening as well. And that's what Uranus does. It does want to awaken you to something. Uh, and it also wants you to see it and to feel it inside your conscious mind to actually, this isn't just a, a sense of a realization or a knowing. It's like you consciously understand what this is that's being asked of you. You. And this character, the Eight of Cups, is walking away, but look where it's walking towards, the Empress <laughs> and the Ace of Cups. The birth of love, healing, joy, the Empress rules love, money, enjoyment, pleasure, abundance. These are all the things that um, it's wanting you to, to, you know, walk away from something that feels the complete opposite towards these energies. So it really is about connecting into not only a, is it wanting you to consciously be aware and to make this shift and to understand what's going on inside of you, 
but also the Empress energy is Venus. It's connecting to the things that bring you joy and pleasure, connecting you to your heart of the Ace of Cups, walking towards a new cycle where you might be feeling very differently about things or it can bring that beautiful healing. So it's a big thing to move into the Empress and the Ace of Cups, a beautiful destination point or direction to head towards. Uh, so this is where, you know, where things may have been a little bit, you know, disappointing with the Eight of Cups. It's like I've tried all these cups. I tried them all and they didn't quite, they left me wanting. You know, I tried all these things. They left me wanting. I tried these connections. I cry, The emotions just weren't right. I'm looking for the missing cup. There's a cup missing here. And what's it more, what's the cup that it's looking for? This beautiful Ace of Cups. So this is something that you've tried or you've tried connecting to someone or something that in your life you've tried connecting to or you've done for a while and just realize that it's not going to really fulfill, it's not going to be able to do what you wanted it to do or fulfill the area that you wanted it to fulfill. And so you're moving towards almost like the Holy Grail with the Ace of Cups energy. That is what I want. And so it's being very, very consciously aware of that and then actively um, putting aside all the debris inside your mind of that nine of swords and actively consciously deciding to move towards that. So this is where we're starting to see the messages, the whispers, the precursor of this big shift and change that's coming in. It's also moving towards, we've got the eight of cups here with the moon energy. We are walking towards the new moon. So we're starting to get into that that uh, new moon energy, which is actually a pretty lucky moon. It's going to get overshadowed by that huge triple conjunction that happens around about the same time or just after it. But it's trining Jupiter. So it's wanting to bring in some enthusiasm, uh, wanting to expand something into your life, which is really positive. And that's what the Empress and the Ace of Cups represent. So it's, it's kind of drawing you towards it uh, at this moment in time. Uh, and so this is kind of like we're in the pool of the new moon in Leo, which is happening on the 29th uh, or give or take a day, depending on where you are in the world. And, you know, we start feeling this three to five days before, depending on how potent the new moon is. And I think, you know, it's no surprise that there is a lot of solar activity at the moment. It was kind of interesting because uh, on the weekend we saw a lot of fire and air and there were a lot of fires around and also there was this coronial uh like a, what's it called, a coronial mass ejection that occurred. There was a lot of solar activity in the sun and it was kind of heading towards the earth and bringing all this. I find that rather interesting. It's happening in Leo season that's ruled by the sun and we're about to step into this new moon energy and this huge activation point and then there's this light from the sun and this vitality and is coming from this energy from the sun is coming and hitting the earth which represents the sun represents vitality and joy and wanting to connect you to those things and your own inner radiance so i feel like there's just these really uh and it might feel like there's just bigger energies at play at this moment and you might get little snippets and senses of this of where it's going that's what i feel like this is you're getting a little sense of i need i'm being asked to walk down this path but it's not the whole picture. There could be something unexpected still on the horizon uh, so or a bigger picture that's yet to unfold. So I feel like you're kind of getting the whisperings of the right direction or the universe wants to bring you down and, and it's about listening to that, becoming consciously aware of it. So that's it, daily reading, <laughs> lots in that one. Uh, more than a daily reading, yes, but we're moving in. We'll see how this progresses moving into the very heart-centered Leo. Leo rules the heart, so it's a very heart-centered new moon. So it is wanting to connect you to your heart. What it is, the new moons are the birth of something new. What is birthing in your heart that you're becoming consciously aware of, you're wanting to bring into consciousness. So that's it. Lots of big energies, lots of things to be dealing with at this moment in time. And I always get that in all the readings I've done of late, the best way to navigate all this unpredictable energy is to connect into your heart, the heart of Leo. That's going to uh, help you feel like you're more guided or at least help you feel like you're able to cope with the energy better. Some of you are going to have like these amazing, like, whoa, this is amazing. And others are going to be, it's going to be harder to deal through, the, to walk through the changes. But yeah, big changes ahead and a lot to think about today.
<laughs> so that's it or over the next, you know, coming days. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me.